Hello and welcome to this week's Angel Oracle card reading for week commencing the 1st of April 2024. My name is Ray and I'm a guide who helps you remember your divine presence so that you can heal your path, create your future and transform your present. Raise your consciousness, remember why you are here. Come out that spiritual closet, take the steps you need to take to actually take control of your destiny and fulfil your purpose in this lifetime. Now this week we're going to be using the Magical Unicorn Oracle cards and the reason these cards, we're using these cards this week is I was trying to decide which card deck to use and a friend of mine had uh, messaged me to say that she's now a grandmother, um, a little baby boy was born so congratulations to the parents, um, mother and baby are doing fine so um, it's kind of like the unicorns went baby let's come out so that's why we're using the unicorn cards um, this week. But before we get into these cards, as always, I'd like to say thank you so much for your continued um, support. It really does mean a lot to me to be able to be of service to you and for you to trust me enough to use my services. So thank you so much um, for allowing me to do that. And of course, with that in mind, in July, I am running a Future Life Progression Practitioner training where you actually get the chance to learn the skills on how to take people into future lifetimes and past lifetimes that you can add to an existing um, holistic therapy, add it to an existing business, or even, you know, take that step and you may be made London or something, take a step and start a new journey, a new business. Um, so do check that out. I will put the links in the comments um, as, yeah, so I'll put the links in the comments. So let's go on with the card reading. So what does everyone who's watching this need to know for their highest good? The week commencing the 1st of April 2024. What does everyone who's watching this need to know for their highest good? The week commencing the 1st of April 2024. Okay, so no jumpers today, but one to stand out a little bit for us. So we'll go with that one and we'll see what they come up with. Okie doke. So this week we have laughter you need a good laugh and that was the one that stood out one step at a time lots of little steps make big tree make big dreams come true and healer you have the power to help and to heal others so beautiful cards are um, that have come out this week so what they're saying for you this week is you know, you need to bring more laughter into your life. I mean, we all need to bring more laughter um, in, more joy, more happiness, because when we're in that energy of joy, laughter, happiness, um, things around us, you know, lighten up, brighten up, um, and, you know, things start happening, abundant things, magical things, you know, things start flowing easily in our life. So this is a reminder that we need a good laugh this week, you know, whether that is watching a comedy, um, you know, laughing and joking with friends, um, you know, creating jokes, even dad jokes. Um, you, you know, this week really is a, is a week, <coughs> excuse me, of bringing laughter and joy into your life in whichever way or form um, you need to do, you need to do that. And know that the laugh, the laughter can help you with those, with healing. You know, laughter is one of the best forms of medicine there is. You know, this is a week where you can do healing, not just on yourself, but those around you. You know, every single one of us has the ability to heal, not just ourselves, but others as well. And this is a week to tap into that. You know, use the laughter as part of the healing. Just being there listening to someone talking is part of a healing process for that person. So there are many different ways of doing healing. It's not necessarily like, you know, the healing, you know, like Angelic Craig here as I do, you know, hands-on healing um, or massage or Indian head massage or anything like that. You know, healing can just be the simple intention of sitting there and listening to somebody with no judgment or laughing, or doing some kind deed for them, or that night, or that friendly word, you know, oh my god, I love that dress, or you look so nice today, you know, 
but obviously mean it, don't just full falsify, you know. But but a nice comment, a nice doing a nice deed can really, you know, that is that is part of the healing that you're doing on other people. But also, you know, it can help heal you as well. But you know, if if you want, go and get some healing this week. You know, laughter and healing this week are so important. And know that you can move forward, but you need, it's, this isn't a week to take big leaps, okay? This is a week to take those tiny little steps. Start putting things in place, one step at a time. Get you to the next um, part of your um, journey, your experience. Then another step to take you to the next one. Then another step. You don't have to do everything in big leaps and bounds, you know, you can do things slowly at a pace that is easy for you, that's understandable for you, that brings in the most benefits to you. So, you know, trust your own intuition this week. And, you know, if someone says, you know, go for it, go blah, 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 blah. And you're thinking, no, I'm not sure. Take the little steps. Still do it. But take the little steps towards it. If you take little steps the big things are not so scary. So, um, you know, say like um, you're, like I'm creating um, uh, posts and that for, um, to promote the workshop, you know, the um, Future Life Question workshop I'm doing. You know, that's not just going, right, this is it, you know, it's here, blah, blah. I'm taking little steps. I'm creating posts to put out there. You know, I'm sending emails. All the little steps to let people know that the training's going on, you know, what the benefit is for, you know, what benefit they get from it. And then them, and then them signing up and taking the course. So it's all little steps. You don't have to do everything all at once. So yeah, this week we are we are really being reminded. Find laughter. Find laughter in everything you do. You know, have fun, go meet friends, watch comedy, um, you know, anything that makes you laugh and have fun and joy. Go and talk to the fairies, the imps, go and have some fun with them. And remember, one step at a time, lots of little steps make big dreams come true. You know, there's the rainbow there. All our dreams, our hopes, our wishes are at the end of that rainbow and we can get there, but we don't have to take great, great big leaps. Take the small steps to get there. And healer, you have the power to heal, to help and heal others. Know that every single thing you do can help heal somebody. You know, whether that is doing a hands-on healing, sending um, distance healing, or just listening. Just listening to what someone has got to say or that kind word. So that's my interpretation of the cards. And as always, I draw these cards for what you need to know for your highest good. So if you look to these cards and got a completely different interpretation, that is absolutely fine. And if one card stood out more than the others, again, that is absolutely fine. And if they did, you know, please do let me know either in the comments or message me privately. I always reply to everybody who comments um, on the readings because I love hearing you know, whether they are, um, were a benefit to you or not, as the case may be. And don't forget to check out my show, Angels and Destiny, which if you're watching this on Sunday, is taking place tomorrow on Monday the 1st. If you're watching this on Monday 1st, it's taking place at 8pm UK time. And now we're back in line with the rest of America. It'll be 12pm uh, Pacific and 3pm uh, Mountain. Um, so we're back to the normal uh, five and eight hours difference now. And if you're watching later in the week, then please do watch the replay. I've got a beautiful lady called Yuri Lee who's going to be on the show. So I'm really looking forward to that conversation. So please do join us. And don't forget to check out, you know, if you want to play about traveling forwards and backwards in time, you know, maybe you've had a past life regression or future life progression with me or somebody else and you're thinking, actually, that would be brilliant to, to help other people do that, then check out the training. It's online, um, so you don't need to um, actually come here. So if you are in, an, um, say, like in America, I am offering two times. So for the whole weekend, I've got um, a morning time, a daytime, 
for UK and an evening time for UK. So the evening UK means that in America, you can actually join um, and, do, and, do the, and do the training. So I'm catering for um, most of the world. Uh, you, you, can, you, can, you can do the future life progression training. And of course, do check out everything else. You know, I do healings, card readings, guided meditations, afternoon tea with the angel, uh, train angelic Craig. You know, I do so many different things. So please do check um, everything out. Um, and of course, you know, I do offer a free 20 minute um, uh, consultation or chat where we can discuss where you are now, where you want to go and how or whether I can help you with that. So have a wonderful week. Um, happy Easter um, for those that are watching this uh, on the Sunday or the Monday. And I'll see you next week. Take care. Bye.